Ready once again. Jose Martinez will lead off for the Redbirds here in their half of the sixth inning. Jose Martinez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball in there for a called strike. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. It puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch now out. Jose Martinez baseman, goes down to become the first in. out in the sixth Whoa. inning. Boy, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there and see you later. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. behind 0 and 2 now one run on three hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds hit hard on the ground to the right and this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single so that's now two hits for him here today as he finds the hole into right and as we take a look there at the cards team leaders in that category he's currently second best on the St. Louis roster. So a runner at first now with one away and stepping in the power hitting first baseman Paul Goldschmidt. No balls and a strike to count. A one count. Here's the pitch. That's over but low it's a ball and a strike. Runners on first with one down. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair it's gone and he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball into right field that's a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now hey they say in this game you better have a short memory well that's obviously the case with this batter he came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single here's Marcelo Zuna as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 it was a walk in his last trip. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. You know we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while but it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it he could steal some strikes that way. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Now a bluff back to second as he'll just hold on to it. The next 0 2. Hot shot on the ground is short. Baez fields it cleanly. The second for one. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. Cards lead one, but they lead it one to nothing. Now, you Darvish. He'll look to get things going here in the Cubs half of the sixth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A ball of no strikes. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2 0. Oh. It's great to be able to face a pitcher to lead off the inning and get yourself a quick out. But now you find yourself down 2-0, and he's licking his chops for a fastball. 3-0 and oh now. It's amazing how guys can lose focus sometimes when the weaker hitters come up, especially the pitchers. you got to stay on the attack and minimize pitches and get these guys out in a hurry. 3-1 and one the count now. The 3-1. Takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. Fell behind early in this one, 3 0, and is battled back with two quality strikes. Interested to see if he catches a big part of the plate right here or tries to get a nibble. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3 0 to punch him out, one away. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ben Zobris. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop 
More home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. But taking in over at first for the second out is that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. First pitch of the at bat. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. No runs, three hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. And that's high and away, and the count goes to 2 and 0. Oh. I know you're standing on the mound, you got two quick outs right here, but you have to respect the fact that this lineup can hit you and hit you in a hurry. Number two hole batter up at the plate, he has a chance to get on and get the big boys up. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're down one nothing. Welcome back here to the historic friendly confines of Wrigley Field. Seventh inning upon us with the Cardinals out on top and it's time to check out the game summary to see how we got here. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. He'll start the seventh the and Dan is a former pitcher shot. yourself. You must be enjoying this. Lots of good DeYoung. pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays yep. on defense. Okay. This has been a snappy one up to this point. DeYoung in an 0 2 hole here. The 0 2 pitch. That one misses ball. 1 and 2. two. Popped him up. Fires is calling for it. Makes the play one away. One gun for the Redbirds in the seventh, and that'll bring up the sweet swinging Matt Carpenter. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. And he lays off for ball one. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest right. pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seven. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch. He Number just didn't four. get the bat through the Yadier. zone in time. The pitch Molina. was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina, as he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. That misses 2 and 0. Oh. Two out, nobody on. Hit on the ground to third. And Molina's aboard with base hit. Boy, D roll, the pitch count keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. And this is another now, example of this they're never really been. making this guy never work seen. in this one. Yeah, yeah, that's the grind right here. You put your hard hat on, you try and find a way to get into that bullpen. Into the box now, Harrison Bader. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. A ball and two strikes now. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for the Cardinals, but they hold a one-nothing lead. Digging in once again, Anthony Rizzo. Last time through was a base hit. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Oh, one pitch on its way. 
And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. In tight with the slider, two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. I got three this one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's in there for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. up and the 0-2 pitch and he fouls this one off into the windup here comes the 0-2 pitch and he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt but he'll hold back here it's one and two misses ball two And it's fouled away. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Outside and a full count, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Uh, he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation with these middle of the order guys. That's back to back K's. And the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. At the plate, Kyle Schwarber. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0-2 now. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And he chased it in the dirt. Molina gathers. And the throw to first ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Your Tyler Chatwood has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so Cubs. to start the eighth. Number 32, Tyler Chatwood. Stepping in for the Cardinals, we Jack Flaherty. He flew out his the first time around and then was a strikeout victim Jack. most recently. Wait. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Chatwood has pitched north of 700 innings in the majors. And sports and ERA right around the major league average at just over four. And this is popped up near second base. And they'll pick this one away for the first down of the inning. The Cubs are into their bullpen now, now as there are the final numbers for their okay. starter. It was a really nice Martina. day on the mound for him. 
Well, this is one of those as a pitcher where you don't get rewarded for pitching well. He threw the ball great in this one. Didn't get much run support. He's in line for the loss, and he deserves a much better fate. He threw the ball pretty well in this one. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Heading out towards shallow right. Zobrist is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. Here's the second baseman, the second Colton base. Wong. So far, two for three in Wong. this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take now three for four every day of the week. Base. Yeah, in today's oh, day and age, Dan, where yeah. everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. Strike one to start the at bat. Owen one count and the pitch. Strike two called on the inner half. Owen two now. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Cards leave one, but they're on top one to nothing. Digging in and looking for more, Jason Hayward. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last the inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Behind 0-2 now. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Fouled off. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Molina has it. And the throw is in time. Hayward is retired, and there's one away. You know, professional catchers make those plays look easy Wilson. most of the time, but that was a big play that shouldn't go unnoticed. Had he found a way on, he would have represented a tying run, so that was a nice job there to make sure that strikeout didn't get wasted. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old police sack and climb the ladder. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Lofted in the air out toward right center, calling for it, Bader. He's got it, and there are two down now. Stepping in and ready for another Daniel. shot. Daniel Descalzo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. 
has to put the ball in play. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So worst case scenario, a two out base hit, and the pitcher will not lead off next inning. And if the Cubs are thinking about turning to their bench here, there you get a look at what's available for them. David Bodie will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 13, David Bodie. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this Wait, inning, Fielder. and now he's got traffic, yeah. and he's in jeopardy with oh, a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. Standing in now, Ben Zobrist. He swings and lines it to left. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Cubs strand a couple. It remains 1-0. Come You're on and take lead. over here, and he'll hit now in the leadoff spot the following Chicago the double Club. switch. Number David Bodie is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, this hitting ninth now on the double the switch. Now with the play, Marcelo Zuna is batting cleanup in this one, but David. will get us started oh. here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Heading out towards shallow right. In there, a base hit. And this will get all the way to the wall now. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. And he's going to make it safely. And a great start to the ninth as it's a leadoff triple. Of course they feel good about the triple, but I know how managers think. And he's in the dugout wishing that triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. Now a move by the manager to bring the corners in. So they'll try to cut down the runner at home, but they'll give up the run for an out if it's hit to a middle infielder. In now, Paul DeYoung. Now a fly ball, but far too shallow to get that run in. The scouts are. Stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. At the plate, Matt Carpenter. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Swinging oh, strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Just don't understand the game plan right here. Walking up to home plate, you had to think you could potentially be pitched around. Oh, but now you find yourself down 0 2, and it's a battle. The 1 2 fouled away. Ozuna stands at third with one gun in the inning. Again, another foul ball. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching yeah, for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home.
Into the box, Yadier Molina. Nope, and he takes ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And that gets the black on the outside. A good slider that time. And this pitch misses for a ball. Two and one now to Molina. Men on third with two down. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Harrison Bader would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for the Cardinals, but they're up one to nothing. Here's Chris Bryant now. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being the shut out. Red boy, you know, I just Red. haven't seen a lot of fight in these stats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth now. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. And it's a base hit. And just like that, the potential time run is aboard here to start the home half of the night. And that's just another base hit in a long line of men. Seems like he's been pitching from the stretch the entire game, but somehow he's still got a shutout going. We'll see how long he can make this last. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Andrew Miller please. takes the ball now in inning number nine, four, looking to Lewis. close the door. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot, number 21, Andrew Miller. Now catching and batting nine, number 32. Coming to the plate now, Anthony Rizzo. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. First pitch coming, here it is. Hard hit ball to second. Wong has it. There's one. Back to first and a costly at bat there as the possible tying run is erased on the double play. The Cardinals are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. Great day's work any way you look at it. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Ball one. one oh. Lifetime against Andrew Miller. He's one for two. The 1-0. -oh. And he fouls this one off. A 1 1 home. Hit hard up the middle. A dive and he knocks it down. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get him out on the play. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he did it. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. Throw to first will be in time to record the final out, and the Cardinals will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one-nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitch awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today. One-nothing the final score. The St. Louis Cardinals took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Jack Flaherty notches his third win of the year. Hugh Darvish is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. Andrew Miller closes the door for the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.
our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, a swift two hours and 19 minutes. Our paid attendance at Wrigley Field this afternoon, 41,649. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cubs baseball and remind you to please drive home safely.